Warm-ups and tuning are an essential part for any musician on any instrument. If you don't tune or uh, warm up for, uh, for anything, you're not going to have a good performance. You're not going to have a good test, etc., etc. Um, there are many uh, ways that people can tune and warm up. Um, in the University of Central Florida uh, and uh, throughout high school, um, it was usually for in, within variety. In high school, I actually tuned first and then I warmed up. But then in, uh, here at UCF, I went ahead and warmed up and then played a tuning note. It, di it differentiates depending on, on what the directors want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and start with a simple warm up. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and tune. For my tuning, I actually going to be pl be playing out of this book, Brad Edwards uh, Lipslers. This has actually helped me with all of my um, uh, exercises in slurring um, uh, throughout uh, UCF. Um, it's um, at a pretty Decent price is at $25 off of Amazon. Um, the, um, a, the university professors may go ahead and try to find the best possible scenario on both profits and uh, material for you, uh, depending on what it is that they require for the curriculum. So I'm going to be playing out of exercise number seven on page 36. Uh, for my uh, warm up. This exercise is known to be um, ranging between the second and sixth partials. Um, so that means uh, it's going to be sequenced down by trombone position. Uh, you're going to be slurring. Um, uh, descending, then ascending, then ascending, descending um, we, uh, within each and every pattern. Allow me to show you an example. <laughs> exercise works is that it ascends uh, and then descends uh, depending on how it starts. The way that this book is written, I started out on the B flat on the upper F octave um, and then uh, played the, um, the thirds, fifths, and roots of the B flat scale, which is the which is B flat D F B flat D F within two octaves. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then you would just go ahead and repeat that system throughout the entire um, exercise until you feel comfortable and confident to, uh, to be able to play. Next we'll go ahead and do a simple tune. For this you're going to uh, need a couple of things. Number one of course is a tuner. This is actually a tuner by Korg. Um, I received this um, during uh, my first, uh, with my first trombone, um, a Vincent Bach um, during middle school. It, it was expensive. It was about $35, $40. Um, there are simple tuners um, on an iPhone that people can use for free. Um, however, I like, I personally prefer to use 
um, actual tuners because um, for two reasons. One, it is actually made by a music company and I feel more comfortable using material uh, that is known to be accurate. And two, if you use it on a cell phone or another social device, it's going to cause distractions during your, uh, during your practicing because you can be on multiple tabs and just be thrown off your game. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this on. And then, you're all, it's always nice to have a piano with you, uh, just to see how in tune that you are, if, just in case you don't have a metronome, because tuning also not only relies on, on great pitch, it also relies on, e on your ear training as well. Most professionals don't usually have to use a tuner. They can, they are able to tune by ear. And, <clears throat> excuse me, and that's when the piano comes in. So we're gonna go ahead and use the tuner. The way that trombones tune is with a B flat. It's not like uh, with uh, winds uh, I mean, woodwinds and vi uh, violins or cellos that start on an A and then a B flat. It's just a straight B flat. And you gotta make sure that your embouchure or your aperture is um, going to support this as well. You have to change a lot of things in order to tune and sound correctly. Right now, every uh, slide on the trombone is at their base. So we'll go ahead and see how it sounds. If, and if I had to adjust, I'll adjust. I'll go ahead and play the tuner a little bit closer so you can see. see from the tune uh, from the screen the tuner addressed me as 10 sharp so that means I have to pull out on my slide so you're gonna take your tuning slide and then pull out just a bit and then you're gonna play again to see um, if your pitch is correct you want to be sure that your pitch is hits the center light which is the green light if it's not there then you have to keep adjusting until it, it gets correct. Now the tuner is addressing me as 20 sharp. So not only do I have to adjust again, it's quite possible I may, may need to adjust my embouchure your um, uh, your, or your aperture, my apologies. When um, that means you have to adjust how open your mouth is. Um, mo uh, most uh, musicians have to play with an O sound, O, um, and sometimes that uh, that affects how the tune is. If it's too sharp, you have to um, either uh, close uh, close the mouth, or if it's too flat, you have to open up more. So let's go ahead and adjust the slide again. Now the tuner is addressing me as 15 flat. So I need to push this in more, just a little bit, and play again. tuner is on the green light. I'll go ahead and play that again at this angle so you all can see the tuner. Now that the tuner is done, let's go ahead and use our ears. So we're going to go ahead and put this tuner away and we'll use the piano.
You want to go at, uh, the range for a trombone is, is below middle C on a piano. This is middle C right here. And you want to play the um, B flat, with, uh, which is immediately um, uh, two half steps um, below middle C. So I'm going to actually go ahead and close up the tuning slide so it's back at a bass sound. And we're going to go ahead and play the B flat tone with the piano and then with the B flat slide on the trombone. So I can actually hear myself actually sharp on the tuning slide on the trombone. So I actually have to pull out and then we're going to go ahead and play that again. Another way to do it is to go ahead and actually play the triad on the piano and then play along with the B, uh, with the B flat on the trombone. See now I'm actually in tune now. Pianos and tuners are the bet are the most um, sufficient ways to stay in tune. Um, a piano is better in my opinion because it helps with your ear training. I all of course if I'm always not certain I will always go back to a tuner. Um, I just personally would not use a tuner on a phone or a desktop because of all the distractions. Um, that it provides.